Hello everyone, SP Architects here. Today I am going to show you how to create ceilings in ArchiCAD. We are going to work with the sample project and its inside is empty and we are going to create a ceiling under that roof. Of course there are different ways of doing that. We can create unlimited designs in order to create a ceiling. But unfortunately we don't have any ceiling tool right here. Therefore we are going to combine those basic tools those are going to be workarounds and also we have a special ceiling tool but we cannot see that tool here in order to reach that hidden ceiling tool we need to go design go to design extras and we go to this interior wizard we need to click this create room accessories but it's disabled so in order to click that we need to go to the floor plan okay let's go to floor plan but to use that tool first we need to create a zone let's click the zone and we are going to place a zone here to do that we have a couple of options first of all polygonal rectangular automatic methods i'm going to click this one rectangular but this rotated one rotated rectangular I'm just going to start from this corner and I don't want to complete all of the roof. I'm going to create a small area in order to show you a demonstration. Now there we have a zone. As you can see here we have two additional labels created by ArcKit. We can get rid of them, one of them. And now we are ready to create our automatic ceiling. But before we continue the tutorial, I would just like to ask you to like this video. It's going to help this channel with YouTube algorithms. And please do not forget to subscribe if you want to see similar tutorials. Alright, let's continue. Now I'm going to click the zone and go to design. Go to design extras, interior wizard and create room accessories. Now we have three options. Of course, we are going to create ceiling. So let's click the ceiling accessory and click OK. But unfortunately, we cannot select any ceiling type right here. We need to link that library. To do that, I'm sorry, but we need to go to File, Libraries and Objects. We click Library Manager. In the opening window, we need to locate the accessory library. So let's click the add. After that, you need to reach your Graphisoft folder. I'm going to click this ArcGIS 25 and we will see this accessories library 25. And now we have libraries, but we have two edition libraries. Actually, they are the same. You can see the size of the same size are the same. Let's click one of them this one and open we will see this accessory library was listed here and now we can click ok by the way if you cannot see any accessory libraries in your folder you can go to the website of the architect and you will download the goodies add-on this is very important if you download the goodies add-on and install with that you will see your new library now let's click again our zone go to design and create room accessories ceiling accessory yeah now we can see this plain ceiling unfortunately it's a plain ceiling if we click this plain ceiling tool we will see a couple of more options under the custom ceilings we can change its thickness and surface type but this is not enough you can search more and you will see lots of interesting and deeper designs under the search bar from here we are going to input ceiling and we will see these custom ceiling models under our case database one of them are basics and some of them are advanced from the manufacturer as you can see i'm not going to use that let's use a ceiling basic one this is INT this is US I prefer INT 
Let's click download and embed. And now we can see our newly downloaded seedling model. And it's got very deep and useful tools under the design. You can see the panels from here. And panel type you can select one of those. For instance, let's try this P11 and click OK. Click OK to. Let's go to 3D. It's creating. There we go. Our ceiling is ready. For instance, if I want to change the size of the zone or shape, what we are going to do? Nothing happened. We are going to make this one by this way by clicking the zone, go to design again, and now we click the update room accessories. It's ready and updated. And now we can see the ceiling was updated. Then let's change some settings. Let's click the ceiling with Ctrl plus T. For instance, we have 3D mode options. We can select texture here. And with that, our, mod our model and scene will be faster. As you can see now, this is the texture. And we didn't paint anymore. Let's move forward. We can choose wall connection type, closed border, edge types. We have editing tools here, accessories, more and more. Well, I don't want to make this video too long, but I want to show you very important basis. For instance, we are going to activate the selection grid and you can see the selection grid here. And let's make a selection in the floor plan. For instance, I would like to make something different for this area. You will see some of them are dark and some of them are light we can go back to the settings and this time for the selection we can add and change the type we have changed the type to circle let's click add and click ok as you can see it was changed also in the 3d window let's change once more by the way, we can clear accessories from here. We can rotate orientation and ceiling panels. But we are in the group of ventilation. We can add lightings, safety, those sprinklers, audio, and accessory panel. Let's add some light. For those selections will be applied as light. By the way, unfortunately we cannot change the location of the selection from here. So they will be changed as lighting group. Like so. Our lights. It's very easy and fast. Let's go back to the floor plan. If we want to change the rotation of the panels, we are going to go back to the settings. And now we have something here. Where was it? Yeah, there we go. Editing tools. Let's click the set. Now we have more tool here. Now we can decide the starting position maybe from here maybe for this direction we can direct the input a value something like that if you want to change the ceiling type you can add another library 
ceiling. For instance, let's try this dark one. Let's download and embed. There we go. As you can see, this is a different one using method how to use, how to apply accessories and settings are completely different. But the shape is different, so let's delete it and remake. Seeding accessory and now we click this one, our new one, not previous one. Let's click OK. OK. And there we have our new shape. For its settings, this is a one type. We can only change its size. We can change small differences. Hanger type and ceiling level. We have only numerical changes, I think, for this kind of ceiling. Anyway. This was how we can create straight type of ceiling. But if we want to create a sloped ceiling in a 3D window, as you can see here, we have roof here. Let's presume that we don't want to create a straight one under the roof. How we can create the ceiling? Unfortunately, we cannot do that with the ceiling tool. We need to do some workarounds. For instance, we can use more mesh and roof types or shell i prefer shell let's click that for the structure type we can select gypsum for the thickness we can change it and for the geometry method as you can guess i'm going to click this one i do this nearly every tutorial after that we are going to click a working plane this wall and we start modeling something like this Double click the same position to finish the shape and make your extrusion. Alright, after that we can add another point onto that. We just click the Boolean reference line and in the opening window we click insert new node. We click in the middle of the line. There we go. And we rise up the pitch point. Like that. We can change extrusion land here. Let's change the surface. We can offset the ceiling, but I think we need a section for that. Let's go to document and click section. Right click and we can select the open with current view settings to open that fastly. In the section view, we can select our shell and offset. Beside of making offset, we can create different design here. For instance, we can delete the corner. And you can convert this edge to a curve. There we go. We have created a curve ceiling type. It's very easy and practical. If you want to create details for this one, we can go to floor plan. Go to design. For instance, if you want to make grids onto your ceiling, I don't know, maybe we can use wall tool. Wall thickness can be 1. Maybe height will be 5 meters. And after that, we are going to convert this to a more. Let's click OK. With the control plus U, we can make some array.
Once we have this, we can rotate one of them. And we can follow the same steps as before. I have selected all of the morph and right click, connect, solid element operations. Those are going to be as operators. Our ceiling will be target. And we make subtraction. Final step will be hiding remaining operators. So let's go back to the floor plan and change layer to hidden. We will see something like this. This was only a simple design. I have created more interesting ceiling designs. If you want to see them, I'm gonna add cards so you can click them and watch my, my other ceiling designs. That's all it for this tutorial. If you like the tutorial, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe. If you want to download this one or my other tutorial files, you can reach them in my Patreon page. With that page, you can also find more tutorials. Alright guys, thank you for watching, until the next time, keep creating.